Hey guys, welcome back. So I just got back from um, work and everything like that. Oh my God, it was freaking fantastic. Uh, yeah, me and my best friend at work, we just stacked the entire back room of another store. Oh, it was freaking hell. There was a lot of shit. So let's get started. So I got pan that palette for you guys to show you. I got some empties. Yeah, um, you know me and empties and palettes. And then I got some woolens. Um, so this is the current woolen. Um, the palettes are going to be still in the same. Um, the face palettes, I mean, they're going to be still the same, but the other eyeshadow palettes or not. I think I got four here. Yep. Four eyeshadow palettes and three face palettes. Yay. <laughs> so my two GVS plates, I'm just going to go screw it and put them in um, better together. I don't know. I haven't decided what exactly I'm going to do with them. So let's start with the, um, the three empties. Um, and I got the doll out one. Um, this one I decided out because when I hit pin on one of the shadows, it um, I noticed there was um, like rust at the bottom. I was like, shit. So that's why I'm also bringing out my um, other IBH, which I'll show you in a second. So, of course, this one, um, I did a lot. Of, so all of these are frankening, moving in and out. Yeah, and then this guy I made a big giant blush. So there's all these guys. Um, yeah. So those are all those. Now let's show you where I'm progress. My mom is texting me um, because a dumbass basically um, pulled out of a uh, one row, didn't look, and yeah, and then yelled at me for not moving. I'm like, okay. It's like, really dumbass? And motorcycles are not the funnest thing in the head, anyway. Oh, by the way, um, I did get my mom's car. She's outside. Um, her name is Lizzie. She is a Mercury Milan. She's about 17. Flash was 20. Okay, so yeah, I got a sister. Um, so yeah, here's a subculture by ABH. Um, this is what she looks like. Um, I do really love this palette. I did get this guy at TJ Maxx. So it's not like when it first came out, but it's still about a probably about three-ish old. I don't know how the pans are at the bottom, but it's one of those things. I love these, this one right here and that one. The shimmer, I do like the shimmers. It's a little, shimmers are a little bit on the light side for me, but I love the deep mattes. I'm not in a grungy, grungy um, type of tea, but um, when I do grungy, I kind of do this, like that type. I just, I don't do green grungy. I do like the burgundy and um, the mauve and that type of thing, kind of like um, the melt palette they have them all pad. that's my kind of grunge so there's that pretty do not go on this window he's gonna go on this window so this is what it looks like and you know abh is so easy to hit paint on i have no issue um i believe this is probably the second batch that came out before the first one i have no issue with the mats on as long as i do um like i just use how i used to do it i don't have issue with that and this next let's talk about this makeup revolution palette this is the one i got from Oops, this thing's like chaotic mess. What it looks like. So I did um, take out a couple shades that were just like not my cup of tea. And then I added um, a couple of these shadows from the ABH palette. I basically just put them together and made a palette shadow. So let me just swatch the ones that I made real quick. So there's those. Those are from the ABH palette from the Norvina. These are the ones that I did frank in a little bit and made them. I know my makeup probably looks like a hot mate. That's on my face. We just sweat freaking balls over there. Like freaking coochie ass balls. Um, but yeah, so here's the, uh, this is the last of the bad habits of um, Yacht Ego. I don't like them. Um, they're very powdery and the shimmers are kind of lackluster. And then there's one of those things, so I'm not going to get um, their formula anymore. Them. So I did um, take out two shadows. Um, it's like a gray, and I don't, don't do grays. And this one, which you know me, I don't do freaking um, cream shadows. Not my cup of tea. I don't set my eyeshadow primer. I just go straight in. I do love this palette. I have the, um, the actually roses, the Hudo one. I absolutely love it. They're supposed to dupe it. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. The shimmers are just beautiful. The shimmers on these compared to Hudo's don't come compare. It's one of those things I'm like, yeah, you get, you're get, still getting the same thing with um, Alter Ego and Bad Habit. Oh, those brands is that they, you do get on um, the same effect as a small palette, but their formula is just like apples and oranges. doesn't compare to it. And here's the BF um, palette by um, BH. BH is one of those things I'm like, I either like it or I don't. This one, I do like it. I moved this out. I had this in my um, panels. Um, hit and paint on eyeshadows, but I decided to move in here because I was just like kind of like going like ooh, kind of like palette. I swear this is like a freaking Holy Quinn palette with the red and the blues. 
just love it. I'm like, I love the um, shadow. I haven't hit paint on it, but it's just one of the things I decided to pull in and to paint that palette so I can actually work on it more because I only work on it. So I might know this is bad. Um, every so often. So there's that. Now let's get into face palettes. So let's show you the one. I, ha I have two of them. I have exciting progress and one and you can really not really see it. Um, is this guy right here. So of course I finished up this guy right here. This guy is the one I was using to... Um, as a finishing powder, it was, let me see if I can just swatch some of it right here. It's what it looks like. It's a very subtle highlight. So this is kind of like the glow I'm getting over my face. Then this one I decided to actually use as, I just kind of like go back between the two and to make a face powder out of it. So I'm going to just show you what that looks like. So yeah, it's kind of like so, like so. So I kind of like that. So that's what it's over my face as a setting powder. This is what, of course, I don't want to, I always try to make other things work so I can don't have to use it. And then this one on the red one, I just kind of like go kind of like e -e 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 -e, like that and go across my, like a bronzer um, because I really don't do red um, blushes that way often. That's super like um, pigmented um, red. So there's that. The um, Kika Milan and then the bronzer is actually from... The leftover I had from my one little guy I was working on. So there's that. This is what the bronzer looks like. It's similar to the one I had. So there's that. So that's kind of like over here. Okay, now let's talk about the other A, the BH palette, the um the waffle palette. So I did hit pan on this one. So this is what I use to set underneath my eye, underneath my eyes. This one I use, um, I was using this guy as a face, um, sitting underneath my face, and then I just realized, let me just swatch these guys, then um, I realized it was a little too cool tone. So that's what that looks like. So that's the cool one, that's the warm one. But when I use the warm one, it seems like it's a little too dark for my legging. But it's one of those things I'm like, okay, and that's why I have these two kind of like um, around my around here to warm, like a little bit more warmer. And then I have this one kind of like on top to deepen up. This one um, is a lot darker and then than the two on here. And then these, I had no there type of thing. I kind of go bouncing between the two. Uh, since I finished this guy up, I might use, i um, not sure what was I using the other time as uh, like a highlight and stuff like that. Just to finishing powder just to set my face. I was trying to make maybe I could use this guy as um, a finishing powder. I think I did it one day and it was just like, bam, glowy. But maybe if I just kind of like fluffy brush and go over across the face, maybe I would do that. I, next time I'm at my friend's house, I would try that out because that's the only highlight it's in that one. And then we got this guy right here. Juvia's places are freaking as pigmented. So this is what he looks like. Yeah, same, no big deal from last time. I do have a kind of like a lid dippy on here. Um, and then this one, I just, this one is coming in handy, the shimmer, because I can bounce between everything like that. This is like a bronzy blush. And this is the one I don't like to use. So it's kind of like I say, bounce between. This is what I have on my um, cheeks today is the combination between this one and that one that's on there. Yeah, I know, it's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating like freaking balls, um, but yeah. So that's where I'm at on this face, um, pa on this pan that palette. I would like to hit pan on um, the the warmer bronzer tomorrow next month. Hopefully, I'm like I'm getting really close to it. And then hopefully hit pan on that one again. I hit pan on it last time, then I decided to repress it. My back is freaking killing me because I did a. We were like lifting like freaking hell. And they were just like, okay, lift it this way, go this way. Yeah, it was great. Um, so I hope you guys like this um, paint that palette and everything like that. Um, and I check you guys later. Bye, guys.